Remember that app that was all the rage a, a couple of months ago where you took a picture of yourself and it put the age that you looked on your forehead? Mine was like 25. LaDonna was like 60. Actually, that's not true. I think it was the other way around, wasn't it? No. Um, yeah. Some people age three times faster than others, but why? Yeah, that is a really good question. Duke University uh, took a look at that, and they have some answers. Yeah, joining us on the Koga News Live line is healthy living and anti-aging expert Dr. Steve Weiniger. Macaulay Culkin, Ryan Gosling are the same age. They do not look like they're the same age. No, um, Macaulay Culkin looks like your grandma. <laughs> he does. How, how, does this, how does this happen? It's a combination of genetics that you can't do anything about and lifestyle, what you're doing with, during your life. And that's something that you can do a lot about. People that live with a lot of stress, people that don't get enough sleep, drink too much, smoke, are going to look older and be older way quicker. So now, now the genetics part, obviously, you can't do anything about. But if you clean up your lifestyle, you could look at least a little bit better? That's one of the takeaways of this study, but a bigger takeaway is that this study puts all the other studies into perspective because it's not just if you exercise, you won't die as soon, or if you don't smoke, you won't die as soon. It's these bad habits that people have and choices that people make affect how fast you're getting older. Most people aged about a year every 12 months in this study. But some people were aging faster, others aged slower. Some people literally aged three years and 12 months. Um, when you look at things like the, the, the president, every president that we see four years after or eight years after leaving office, he looks 20 years older because they're living with crazy stress. Choosing, choosing habits that you can manage your stress and enjoy your life. Is what, is, what, is what the takeaway is. Now, here's the other thing that I was curious about, because it's not just a physical manifestation, let's say, in aging your face. This also affects your, your mental capacity, correct? Your, your motor coordination? It's everything. It's, when you think about an old person versus a young person, it's, it's everything put together. They looked at uh, how, the, how heart, lungs, kidneys, liver were functioning, but they also looked at how people, how, how cognition was working, how well people would think, how well they could, they could problem solve, and how much they enjoyed life. It, the, the, one of the big takeaways of a lot of the research, including this one, is being happy in life will help you to, to not only enjoy it more, but live longer. So what are some of the secrets to slowing down the aging process? And do you have anything specific? Specific, number one, don't smoke. The diet, minimize the whites. Uh, sugar, flour, salt, uh, uh, or eat less of them. I'm a pasta guru. One of my big things is teaching people how to stand taller. Sitting is the new smoking. Um, studies have shown that people that spend more time sitting die sooner. People that stand up more and keep the bodies moving better live longer. All right, sounds good. Uh, to stay away, and you know what? You're not the first person who's actually told us to stay away from white food, from rice, from sugar. Mostly, it's it's like processed foods that seem to jack up that inflammation and make that aging worse. That's Dr. Stephen Weiniger, a healthy living and anti-aging expert on why some of us are looking so much older than others. And the first thing you need to do is put out that smoke.